Hello, everyone. I'm Mingri Zhang from the University of Washington, and I'm glad to present the paper Jetty Keyboard Gestures for Mobile Text Editing in Graphics Interface 2020. This project is done by me and my advisor, Jacob Warbrock. So let's first take a look at the current interactions for mobile text editing. The most popular one is called Touch Plus Widget. The user can touch the text directly and drag the cursor and perform interactions such as double tab to evoke the editing widget menu, which contains common edit tasks like copy and paste. However, such interactions can sometimes take a long time and can be error prone. For example, if you want to place a cursor inside a word or on the edge of the screen, it can be super hard. And directly interacting with the text also introduces round trips, which means you have to leave the keyboard area to edit the text. Realizing the problems, many soft keyboard offers the on screen, uh, the on keyboard gestures for editing. For example, the Gboard on the left has control buttons, and the iOS keyboard can become a trackpad for cursor control and text selection. In this way, the user doesn't need to leave the keyboard area during typing. Although various solutions for on-keyboard gestures exist, they share three common problems. First, when moving the cursor to a long distance, users must do gestures with clutching, and repetitive clutching can slow down the efficiency significantly. Second, a lot of gestures are uh, designed with multi-fingers, which is hard to perform in one hand. And last, current designs are not compatible with gesture typing methods. In this paper, we present Jetty, a complete gesture set for mobile text editing, friendly to both one and two hand usage. Let's first look at the demo. So that's a demo and let's dive into the design of Jetty. First, as you can see, it resolves the clutching problem by a ring gesture for cursor navigation. Beyond the fleek gestures for moving the cursor on word levels, users can draw circles clockwisely to move, it, move the cursor right or anti-clockwisely to move it left. The ring gesture is triggered when the finger draws the circle over 60 degree and is dynamically updated every 270 degree. In this way, we provide both fast and accurate gesture control experience. The keyboard also offers editing mode in both two hand and one hand situations. When using it with two hands, the user can first perform a basal gesture from the edge to trigger the editing mode and perform edit gestures with another hand. When using in one hand, the user can directly perform the editing gesture from the edge to trigger the corresponding editing operations. For example, in editing mode, ring gesture will perform text selection. Here are editing gestures for copy, paste, cut, and undo. We assign those gestures to mimic the shortcuts on keyboard. Because the editing gestures are basal from initiated from the edge, they are compatible with the gesture typing. We also constrain the starting area of the ring gesture within the space key to make it also compatible with gesture typing. To evaluate Jetty, we conducted a text transcription study. For each test set, there is a long word in every sentence that is difficult to type manually. We encourage the participants to utilize different editing functions, such as copy-paste to finish the transcription. 
16 participants joined the study with two techniques, the gesture and the standard touch plus WG technique. For each technique, they were instructed to perform tasks with one and two hands. The order was balanced. Here is the result. The orange bar represents the jaded technique, and the blue bar represents the touch plus widget. Editing time is the time of performing edit operations such as cursor moving, copy, cut, and paste. As we can see here, for both the task completion and the editing time, jaded is faster, faster than the touch plus widget techniques. We also measure the subjective rating scores, including the TRX test flow and the preference rating. For one hand mode, participants rated jetted with lower task load, mentioning that it is handy and convenient. However, for two hand mode, the task load were similar. On the other hand, both modes were preferred over the touch plus widget technique confirming that on keyboard gestures were convenient and feasible. In conclusion, we present a set of on keyboard gestures for mobile text editing, JADID, which can be performed for both one hand and two hand postures. JADID is a lightweight gesture set that is ready to be deployed on today's touchscreen keyboards. Thanks for watching. We thank Baidu for funding the work. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to email me. Thank you.